I brought you to a garden today to tell our story because our story takes place in a garden. Okay, here we go. When God created everything, God said, it is good. And God put God's image, his own image, in the creatures that walk the earth. In the midst of the creation, there was a wonderful garden. It was God's garden. Everything was there, but everything was so close, it was all together. God was with the rocks and plants and animals, and they were with God and each other. All the people were also together in one person who was called everyone, or in their language, Adam. Eve was there too. She was always there for she came from Adam. She and Adam were a kind of Adam Eve. In the middle of the garden grew two trees. God told Adam Eve that they should not eat the fruit from these trees. One tree was about differences and one tree was about forever. If you ate the fruit of the tree of differences, you would know about differences. And if you ate from the forever tree, you would live forever. Now the serpent was far more clever than any creature that God had made. And he suggested that Adam Eve taste the fruit from the tree of differences. And they did. Adam Eve ate from the tree of differences and things fell apart. They became Adam and Eve. The difference between them and God also came apart and the difference between good and evil did too. God called for them and they hid, but God found them. They did not know how to be with God anymore because of all the differences. There were good and evil, close and far, high and low, God and people, Adam and Eve, and many more. The differences also did something wonderful. Now Adam and Eve could take things apart and put them back together again. They could be creators, almost like God. They couldn't make something out of nothing, but they could make something out of differences. After the differences, Adam and Eve could not go back to when things were all together in the garden again. They could only go forward, and they did. God sent Adam and Eve out of the garden. An angel and a sword were put at the edge of the garden so they could not go back, but only go forward. God went with them on their journey to help them, to help them be the best creators they could be and to be with God in this new way and to stay one with God. When Adam and Eve learned of differences, things kind of fell apart. Okay, things really fell apart. They also began to see differences between one another. They saw man and woman or boy and girl. I wonder what else they saw that were differences, short and tall. Maybe the color of their skin was different. Differences divided and separated them. So yes, there are differences and we know the differences now and we recognize the differences, but you and I get to be creative. We get to live in a way that looks, in the, looks at the world the way God did and says, what can we do with these pieces? What can we do? And how can I help bring everything back together to be all one together in the garden, just like how God always intended? What can I do to be part of that? I heard a great story today from another pastor who said that, can you imagine if you went to a doctor and you had a broken bone and the doctor said, what's the big deal? You have 205 other bones. Why are you so upset about this one? No big deal, go home. 
Can you imagine a doctor doing that? No. When one part of the body is broken or hurts, the whole body responds. The whole body is broken and is hurt. And we need a healer and we need to be the healers that help to heal that body and recognize that one broken, that one broken part and say, what's my job to help heal it and to help remind the world that we are created from one another and for one another. When one part of the body hurts or is separate, we're not who God created us to be. So our job, especially right now, friends, is to be part of reminding one another that we are all one body, that we are made from one another, and that we belong to one another. Friends, I love you. I'm thinking about you a lot this week. If there's anything this week you want to tell me or share with me or with Pastor Sarah, please do. And we look forward to hearing from you. We love checking in with you and knowing what's going on. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you know that you are loved and I hope you get really creative. Show this world that we are all, all part of the same body. I know you know it. We've got to show the rest of the world outside the garden about that. So thank you for being part of that with me. I'm going to ask your wonder question so that you can do that. Um, so that you can do that with your family today. Let's ask some questions. I wonder what part of the story you liked best. I wonder what part was the most important part. I wonder what part of the story was about you or what part of the story you're in. I wonder if we left out any part of the story, would we still have everything we need to tell the story? Okay, I love you. Y'all have a great day. Bye.